All right, so now we are here at another antique mall that we just found. We were driving and then we were like, wait a minute, that's a yellow building for us. And it's yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and it said antique, so that was the gift More way. importantly, <laughs> it does say that. It wasn't the fact that it was yellow. So, but we're going to go inside here and see what we can find. Hopefully, we find like lots of old things. It's a small antique mall. Should be quick, folks. Should be quick. In and out. Let's go. Well, this is cool. They've got all these old record players in here. So this is a Senora, Sonora. It's a Sonora phonograph. And this one is an Edison. And this one is a Kimball. Very neat. Oh, well, look at that. And then there's one of these jukeboxes. The radios are cool. So there's a Bakelite silver tone for 15. That's not bad. Yeah, and this is pretty. A wooden one for 40. Yeah. And then this one here. Very nice. This wood is. I like that wood. Yeah. What is this called? This wood is it tiger oak or no? Not tiger oak. Is it think. like a? Is it like a special? Maybe oh. it's just oak. Could be. No, you're it not. It hardly oak. even looks like oak, actually. It's not though. I just. It's um like yeah. cherry or something. We are here at Lighthouse Thrift Store in Terre Haute, Indiana. Terre Haute, Indiana. <laughs> like, Indiana. Where, where are we at? You got my glasses on. I was in Chicago like 12 years ago, and I bought those on the Navy Pier. Aren't they fun? Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go inside here. Okay, we just walked in. We have a lot of shelves, so it could be promising. And I grabbed a basket too. So maybe we'll find some things. Here's a little biscuit jar, like a made in Japan type. I have a, I have an extra handle at home or at the shop. That's pretty. I like the colors. The blue is nice on it and $3, no less. So I will get that because I do have that handle for the little biscuit jar. So very cool. They have a lot of little shelves with things on them all. So this is new, but it is in the style of cloisonne. Made in India. Lots of baskets. So a lot of baskets. Oh, that's a cute squirrel. Little bank. Little squirrel bank. We have a whole bunch of milk glass over here. And some salt and peppers. You say you have had it for a little while? Uh, I think, uh, okay. Well, that's kind of, is that plastic? This doesn't look right. Somebody sprayed it. Huh. I think it was milk glass to begin with. What is it? Oh, it they just, spray paint? Yeah, the mm -hmm. color's off. Yeah. That's kind of a neat thing you just had right there. Yeah. It it's like a, a bean lighter pot. weight than I thought it was going to be. But... Oh, right. Mm -hmm. But the coloring is neat on it. Yeah. It's missing its lid. And there's some Easter stuff over there that I'm curious about. Over here, I'll see there are tins. What is this tin? It has some fruits and cheese. And it's on the other side. Well, that happened already. What's this? Oh, here's some little crafting supplies. Is this 59 cents? This is 59 cents too. So it says Happy Easter, and there's like a cracked egg in there. I'm gonna pick that up. Oh, and the little, yeah. Put that in my cart. I think I should get this for 59 cents. And I don't know what oh, listen to Barb. Do you think I should get this for 59 cents? <laughs> Definitely. 59 cents. Do it. I wonder if there's any old books. I'm going to look on the Valentine stuff too. Well, this is all new stuff. I'm mad. 
Barb got the only cool thing. I should have said, no, you shouldn't get it for 59 cents. I would have led you astray. You would have said, okay. Then I would have snatched it up. Swiped it. I would have swiped it. You want to look at your books? Um, I don't see enough old ones to interest me. Okay. There's some candles and votives over here. Mm -hmm. Are those lucite or is that just candle wax? That's just candle wax. Oh. You're making a what? Candle tree forest. Oh. Collecting like trees that are candles and then you set them on the clear things. I saw it on Crazy for Retro. Peggy did oh, that. I've never I've heard it. of such a thing. Here's a whole bunch of wooden things. Oh, those are cool clovers, the wooden ones. And there's a rabbit. These are decent prices. There's a country owl and some country apples. Oh, they use that pearlescent type paint on them. Here's a heavy orange hat. Wow, I never thought I would need one of those. <laughs> I still don't. <laughs> hey, Von Duck? No, thanks. Hmm. We always see a lot of these, too. I see those everywhere. Yeah. They must have been very popular. Must have. Or they were, like, given away to people. There's a little chicken, uh, an Amish woman without a face. Why, why is that a thing? Like, did I miss a movement or something? Well, I guess they were just trying to start a new thing, maybe. And yeah. I think it did work for a while, didn't it? It must have worked. <laughs> All them faceless people. You want a funny pig? I really do not. <laughs> There's a cute little thing, bear. It, yes, it is. Yes. This almost looks like Freeman McFarland. That one? It's well, not. It's definitely yeah, not. Yeah, there's hand-painted ones that were like it. Oh, that one's New Orleans, Japan. I would have never guessed that. <laughs> it looks like somebody painted it in the yeah. 70s. Wow. I found a whole wing of, like, toys and things. There's all these toys over here. And then I see coming up even more things like some dishes. Wow, that's a big toy section. Cars, games, beanie babies, puzzles. Barb is excited. I was gonna find something and then I was gonna like hold it over your head, but I couldn't find anything. Like rubber faced animals. Mm -mm. I don't see anything. They have lots of glass bars over here. Mugs. Clear glasses. You know what? This should be Francoma. It is Frankumo for a dollar for the mug. Oh, there's a big old chip on the bottom right there. Here's a puzzle on their thing, but he's stained up, unfortunately. Oh no, they have all their polo cases in this bin. You kind of just have to dig through them. Lots of printed ones and newer ones. Here's one. We found Let's one. See if you can find another one, though. Ooh. <laughs> That's nice. That's a good one. I don't know what the chances are of finding the other, but. You want to get it? No, you can have it. Barb is letting me have it. <laughs> That's actually really cool. I like that one a lot. For 25 cents, yeah. I will get it. 
here's Did you find it? Oh, it's another one. Well. You're on the good side, Barb. Apparently. All I have is printed ones. I'll get that. Uh, it's a little... Uh, is it too yellow? Well, I wonder if it can be cleaned a little bit better than that. Like maybe, maybe bleached. It's not that bad, really. No, I think I will for 25 cents. This must be the good side to dig through. This one's kind of uh, I wouldn't mind having this if it wasn't. I wonder if I could do it. What is it? I kind of like that. Is that a pillowcase? Yeah, it's kind of stained. A little bit. You maybe use some OxyClean and yeah, it could maybe. help? Maybe. Maybe. This is a. This thing goes down. Yeah, it does. It really do. Goodness gracious. Ew. Okay. <laughs> do they have a place for like dresser scarves and things? Oh, here's some. That's a cool color combination. If you're into that. It's very different. I think, yeah. These are a dollar each, Barb. Uh -huh. This looks like it might have had a little snag, but a dollar? Really? Should I do that? Mm -mm. No. Okay, I won't. I just wasn't. A fan I'm, I'm of the like co the colors Something about are kind the of. The color was weird to me. Like this with this. Yeah. I don't know. This one color throwing it off to me. But I figured, well, I'm not the arbiter of style. Like, right. Somebody might like it. Oh look, here's some of their. Oh. Hey, now it says good morning. good morning. So are these like, these are probably 25 cents each too. Probably. Ooh, yes, that's a beautiful tea towel. Oh, see, there's things hidden over here. They hid them from me and then I found them and then, oh, it's a pillowcase. That is not supposed to be there. You're a liar. You shouldn't <laughs> be there. There's hands. They're washing their hands of coronavirus. I think I'll do it for 25 cents. I'll do that. Okay, I just dug through all the linens down here under the table. And I found this really awesome round tablecloth. Very springy. Has all the flowers on it. So that's nice. And then I found this table runner. Oh, that's backwards. This table runner. It sort of has like a fall vibe. Because of the leaves and the colors. So that'll be really pretty for fall time. And then this one has like a vase and stuff on it. You know what? I'm not getting that one because I saw that the edging was kind of torn. So I got those three. Very nice. All right. Well, somehow I almost missed this, but we came back over here and it is $3. And it is a made in Japan little divided trinket dish. And it does have crazy, as you can see on there, with the transferred on design and the handle. It's very nice. So I'm definitely going to get that. I'm surprised I didn't see it the first time. Barb, what, what did you do? <laughs> Look, Aaron found me this. It's a general I foam egg, it. and it'll go with my chocolate bunny. And then I found a paint by number. Oh, That's my goodness. That's always an exciting day. Valentine's. I was digging in the gra in the just digging in the, gra <laughs> the graphics. I was digging in the fabrics. Yes. <laughs> and while you were over there finding a paint by number, <laughs> I like it a lot. Yeah. I think maybe the green frame is a little not the best. For right. It. Yeah, that is true. Maybe I can switch it out with another one that I have. Well, maybe you could just paint it. That's true. <laughs> if I, I would. It just was. I like the egg out. though. Yeah. That's a good find. When do you think that is? Is it like the 90s? I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. Awesome. All right. So, what is this down there? A little Italian vase? I'll put that in my thingy. <clears throat> Actually, this is made in China. Hmm. In the style of Italian type of a piece, isn't it? What about this one? This? Oh, is it broken? No, it's not marked. Hmm. Are you broken? Maybe just some gold worn, worn off. I don't know. 
All right, so we are finishing up here at the thrift store and I think we did pretty good for what it was. I found a few uh, dresser scarves and some pillowcases and a tablecloth. <laughs> I put one of the dresser scarves back because it was gonna ring up as a dollar. And that one had like a little snag that I didn't notice. That was the one that had like the burgundy flowers on it or the, the brown flowers, kind of the fall one. It's a shame because it was kind of unique, but I couldn't see spending a dollar for that considering the condition it was in. Um, Barb is still checking out, but for now I'm gonna wrap this up. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.